Hello, welcome back to Peter Tries. So Peter Bracken here. Um, so Ashley asked me to give you a quick update of what I've been up to and what's in my plans. And um, well, first of all, I've got a new hashtag. So it's hashtag Peter Tries. So it's T-R-Y-S, so as in the rugby try, because I used to play rugby. <laughs> anyway, and uh, so one of the Peter tries is Peter tries EV drives. So um, basically driving an electric car around the place and uh, uh, visiting different projects and proving that electric cars can do anything that a, pe um, a petrol or diesel car can do. And before everyone gives up on me, um, I know walking is better than driving if you can. So absolutely, if you can walk, walk if you can cycle cycle um if you can use public transport up much better options for the environment uh but sometimes it just comes down to especially when you're living in rural ireland a lot of time you don't have any other choice it's either a car or nothing and um so it's better to be driving an electric car than a petrol or diesel car um electric cars are only a third of the carbon footprint of a petrol or diesel car over the lifetime of the car and that's from cradle to grave so from when the ore is dug out of the ground to um, when the car is recycled and electric cars can be well the batteries there's a lot of uh, myths around the batteries that they can't be recycled false they can they're 95 percent recyclable at the moment and it'll be up to 100% within the next 10 years. Um, all those rare minerals, lithium, cobalt, all the rest can all be recycled. Um, also, people kind of get a little upset about um, cobalt and the slave trade in the Democratic Republic of Congo and kids going into mine for cobalt to for electric car batteries. Um, unfortunately, there's hundreds of times more lithium in the device you're watching this video on and then there is an electric car battery so um it's a lot more lithium or sorry cobalt used worldwide in electronic devices t devices tvs computers laptops mobile phones all the rest and there is in electric cars um but at least in electric cars well all electronic components that that can be recycled a um, lot better than burning fossil fuel anyway so anyway uh, i'll move on i'll tell you what i'm doing um i have i just actually six weeks ago or sorry four weeks ago um myself and my friend mikey smith who's a musician um we drove around the 32 counties of ireland and northern ireland in a hundred percent electric vehicle in under 24 hours so we we're the first people ever to do that we did it easy in we did it in 21 hours and 34 minutes proving that electric car can do anything that a petrol or diesel car on the island of ireland and uh no problem charging got around without a bother um and we kind of we proved that um it can be done in an electric car and if you were to do it in a petrol or diesel car it would take just as long so um we didn't break any speed limits or anything like that if you were driving a petrol or diesel car if you're driving it safely after every four or five hours of driving which we were doing in the electric car we needed to charge we charged stopped um had a feed uh rested took an hour to charge and we drove on if you're a petrol diesel car you should be stopping after four or five hours of driving and doing the same thing if you're not it's dangerous driving uh in my book um so uh that's it the charging was there we uh we didn't get stuck um we pulled up to a charger in monaghan actually and uh there was a lady in front of us and she had another five five or six minutes of charging to do and we had a quick chat with her about what we're doing and and she moved on and uh, we charged so that was it so out of uh, 24 you know full days of driving we got delayed maybe six seven minutes so not bad um uh, so that was uh, peter tries 32 counties um, um i'm driving over to cop 26 in glasgow uh next week um 
Um, I'm a committee member of the Irish Electric Vehicle Owners Association and myself and um, Simon Acton, who's the president of the association, are driving over to COP26 to meet members of the other committees of the other electric vehicle associations around UK, Europe um, and globally and uh, find out uh, what works and, and share knowledge and all the rest and document the whole trip and everything around electric mobility and also the wider um, environmental movement. Uh, it's a big, uh, it's a big event. Um, it could be the difference between <laughs> whether we survive as a species, human beings or not. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm very positive going over um, whether we get what we need done and the politicians step up or not it really i don't believe it's down to the people anyway or communities and or individuals to um make the changes regardless of what the politicians decide to do so um but it'll be, it'll be good to get over there and see what's happening um on the ground and do some videos and documentaries and uh, uh all about that um my next one from then is um, Peter Try's sports story. So I'm aiming to drive around um, sports clubs in Ireland and uh, Northern Ireland to see how sports clubs can be more environmentally as well as financially sus sustainable using uh, smart technology, renewable energy, EV charging, um, and basically cutting down on fossil fuels and, uh, fuels and go more envir with more environmentally friendly solutions and how uh, sports clubs can be helped the biodiversity crisis we're in as well and um, I'll be taking a look at that um, I'm also then driving Peter Try's Premiership Rugby so I used to play with Wasps in the English Premiership and uh, I'm driving over in February and going to all six premiership games in one weekend again to prove that electric cars can do the job and also um, see some rugby why not and um, collect some used gear and kit of um, the teams and players and the local grassroots clubs around the UK to give and to use in my following trip which is Peter Tries. Kenya Drive. So I'm going to drive to the Samburu Sevens uh, rugby tournament in Kenya from my home here in Castlebar, County Mayo in, the, uh, in June of 2022. Um, so that tournament uh, is the first of its kind. It's, they're aiming to be very close to zero, um, to have a zero carbon footprint. Um, which is a not a t it was a massive um, ambition um, when there will be a lot of teams flying from all over the world to get there, but they are going to leave behind a legacy of um, off grid uh, renewable energy for the local um, communities in Kenya, which is badly needed. They leave behind running running water. They're um, they're building massive um, in infrastructure to hold the tournament and all that infrastructure will be will be there there'll be EV charging um, there's seven kilometers of water pipes being put down um, that again will serve the community once um, the tournament is, is finished um, so I think it's a well, well worthwhile project to be getting involved in um, they asked me to go over and coach and fly over and said there's no way i'm flying but maybe i could drive there so they've got really excited around that so um that's looking good um, um and then uh, and all the gear so i'll be collecting gear and kit and use kit to and then donate it as fill the van or the car that i'm going to drive and uh, donate it to the charities in kenya when, when i get there and then the following year, 2023, uh, summer of 2023, I, I'm still aiming to drive around the world and be the first person ever to drive around the world in a fully electric van. And uh, that's in, in the plans. And again, to see how sport can be more 
environmentally and financially sustainable and uh, that's really how everything I'm doing is um, is evolving basically Peter Troyes is evolving into linking sport and the environment sport is a very big influencer and sports stars are huge influencers and you know I'll be interviewing and getting sports stars in my electric vehicles and talking about their career but also talking about how they personally are being more uh, sustainable and more environmentally friendly and what they're doing and what their clubs are doing um, to be and yeah so the carbon footprint of sport worldwide is about the same carbon footprint as the country of Spain so I think it's 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 a big one and sport really I don't feel has been linked to the environment and uh, it has a big role to play and I'm, I'm, I'm trying to um, I do the best to link link those to the environment and sport um, and, and that's it I'll have all my links to my different Peter Tries or Ashley Will in the um, section down below and uh, I wish everyone uh, all the best and uh, if there's any questions um, I'll, I'll try and answer them thank you very much drive on bye bye